Without a word, Uncle Two took a pot, a board and a big knife. He went as far as the water's edge to prepare the two big dolphin fish. This operation was closely followed by a squadron of red gulls with bronchitic rat size and further down by a dozen pigs in a semicircle, some tetanized tupa crabs and Minushka, the district cat, who, to be precise, was a she. And she, by the way, was expecting kittens. In the meantime, the land was being cleaned. Mahiri Onahe had been the pig's domain for a whole month. An hour later, Kiva, Tuatini and Punu arrived in the second boat. Turio explained to me that Tuatini and Punu were the district champs and that they would stay with me for a week, the time needed to show me how to handle things in a district, to fish, eat and work the copra. We tucked into Uncle Tu's Mai Mai Tunu. Then, Sumo brought me to the water tank to show me how to have a wash. You had to walk a hundred yards to an old water tank made of lime-washed stones, in which the water was always cool. The pipe was plugged with a piece of boy. Everyone was entitled to one bucket. We all washed in turn. Then, Sumo and his godfather went back to the village by Potimarara boat. First night in the district, in the bungalow on stilts. Well equipped with mattress, blankets and mosquito net. We ran the generator in order to watch a movie. Uncle too preferred to sleep alone with the pigs in a copra shack. For Kiva, it was worse. He was going to sleep in the bush, far away in the bush. He was playing hero. He would come back at five in the morning to drink his coffee, completely out of his mind. His thundering monologues would throw Uncle Two out of the shack. Nobody knew where he'd been, but it all seemed a bit fishy. 